WTFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to your 2 p.m. update here on TFNN with me, David White. It's the last day of the month and also the last day for about 80% of Wall Street to get its bonuses. So my guess is that we're not going to see much of a pullback. We had maybe a little bit um, gone, just a little bit, uh, a bridge too far on Friday. But my guess is we could probably close out around 3900 on the S&P cash by the end of the day. We'll see if anything else comes back in. But not uncommon to lose a few points from the day before to the day of uh, the last day of the month. Uh, also interesting, the Dow moved uh, as a percentage more than it has back to 1976. Again, when we were starting to have huge increases in interest rates, I can remember, uh, remind myself a lot about a father who decided to get into real estate with uh, interest rates at 18 and 21 percent by 19, probably by 1980, wasn't it? So the question is, uh, is the move to the Dow uh, a throwback uh, to 1976, 1977? I think it was actually 77. I'm going to have to go back and look at it. Uh, but this is the biggest move in the Dow. So the rush to anybody that has a lot of cash, a lot of cash coming in, and uh, that's kind of it. Now, tomorrow, uh, my guess is we're going to go very light on volume. Uh, probably within an hour or two after uh, the uh, open. Uh, we've got uh, some more big earnings uh, tomorrow night, though. And then, of course, the Fed on Tuesday at 2 starts the uh, uh, the ball rolling. And then, of course, a 2.30 uh, press announcement. And uh, then I think we're going to probably see uh, a direction for the rest of the year. Um, I think everybody's pretty much expecting a 75 basis point moved on Wednesday and then maybe a hint that all we get in December is a half a point raise. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I think there's a lot of waiting around, uh, but uh, I'm looking for a little bit more today and maybe everybody just start getting a little bit more worried tomorrow. And that's it for your update. The reality is that navigating financial markets